Hi everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and I'm back again with another tutorial and today I just wanted to share this really sweet little flip book with you. Um, it only measures 3 inches by 12 so you will need a, a 12 by 12 piece or you could use A4 which is 11 and 3 quarters and just have it a little bit smaller at the back. But it just opens up, you've got some you know, bits where you could even put photographs or whatever you want. You have a little space there for a tag. It opens up again and it's got a little cute little envelope in there. And then the back it's got a little space there to pop another little tag of some kind. So I wanted to show you how I did it. So I've got a piece of very vanilla which is 3 by 12 and we're going to score it on the long side at, I've got my notes out here, at two and a half, two and a half inches. Five inches seven and a half inches and ten. Okay. <clears throat> and then we're gonna fold like an accordion fold so that way and then fold this one back and then that, that way so it's like accordion fold and then the back one will be a little bit smaller and if you're using um, 3 by 11 and 3 quarters it would just be a little bit smaller so you could use an A4 piece of card so it will open up like that now this piece here so we've got one two so the second and the third piece is what we're going to glue together to make um a space for a little tag okay so we just need to put some glue down there and the bottom so down here and along here to glue that together <coughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. You only need a little bit. I think mine's blocked up. Oopsie, I knew that would happen. And just a little tiny bit of glue. You could use a bit of tape if you wanted to. And just glue that together and that will give you that little space for your tag okay so <clears throat> what we're going to do is put our pieces of DSP and for this I'm using the tea room, it's absolutely beautiful and they all need to measure 2 and 3 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths so at the front I'm going to have this one on and this is where I want the envelope and I've got a piece which is six by three and three quarters for the envelope. And we're going to score the short side at half an inch on each side. Oh, that was the cutting blade there. <laughs> okay, and the long side we are going to score at, I'm sure it's two and a half inches and then 
I think I've done it wrong. I think it was meant to be two inches actually. Um, two and a half. Yeah, it was. That was wrong. Oh, damn. Never mind. Uh, two and a half and four and a half. That's going to have to do. Should. Yeah, it'll still work. It's just. Um, I'm going to have to trim it now. So it should have been two. So you need to score it on the long side at two. Okay. And then. I think it's four yeah two and four so I've scored it wrong so I'm just gonna have to trim a little bit of this off so I've cut mine wrong there we go so we are gonna cut away we're gonna leave these two middle score lines and cut away the end two. If I can find the scissors. What have I done with them? There we are. So just cut away. just need to fold these up and then we're going to have that will go like that and that will go like that so I'm just going to round the corners on the if that would be like the lid of the envelope and we just want a little bit of glue down each side Just stick that on there. It's the same way as I made the the little tiny loaded envelopes. Okay, so that's our little envelope. And that is just going to sit in there like that. So you can just put some glue on the back. Let's check I've got this the right way. And then just glue the envelope in okay and then the back what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to glue the bottom and I'm just going to leave that as a, a little spot <clears throat> that you can put stuff in there without cutting it this time so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue along the bottom and just glue that to the bottom okay and then I've got another piece of DSP left which I'm just gonna trim it the width to I'm just gonna get a pencil and trim Trim the width to what will that be? Um, instead of it will be one and seven eighths instead of um, two and three eighths. I'm just going to trim that down. Just rub that little pencil mark out there and then I'm going to glue this onto the back okay so there is a sweet little book 
and we've got a little pocket there as well now as well as our little cute little envelope so the tags they are two by three and a half and I just used the tag topper punch I've used some of this beautiful tea room combo ribbon so you get two colours <clears throat> absolutely beautiful and that tag will just slot in to there so I've cut some of the D uh, some of the tea room memories and more and I'm just gonna glue that onto there these were just small memories and more cards because I don't have the tea room stamp and dies uh, so I've just used the the memories and more pack it's a little tag and then I did cut two out I can't find the other one what have I done with it oh, I'll just pinch the one out of here I've lost mine and that's another some of the other memories and more card that's just gonna go on there now I'm just going to put a little bit more ribbon in that one just put that through there and then pull it through here and you can just trim it These scissors are blunt now. Okay, so we've got a couple of little tags. <clears throat> and I used the stamp set, which is very vintage, and I just stamped that out with Coastal Cabana ink. And then I just fussy cut it out with the scissors, and it makes that, which I think it's really cute. So I'm going to pop that on there, and using this little fly. Yeah, that's the stamp there. Um, I'm going to stamp the little, f what, I don't know what it is, is it a little bee? I think it might be a little bee actually. Um, I'm going to stamp it. In so saffron, I think. Stamp that in the middle. Like that. And then I am going to just glue this on. Go into the middle. Like that. That looks really pretty. And I think that tag will go in here. And then this one can just slot in the back like that. And then I've got a little tag that's from the um, cake soiree framelits. And I was going to pop this in here. I don't think it's going to fit now because I've, oh no, it can go in this way. So on this one, I'm going to use some of these beautiful tea room copper stickers these are beautiful and I'm just going to pop one of these butterflies just in the middle like that and I'm going to pop that inside there so we've got a cute little um, put a fly on there and I've also just cut out a couple of little very vanilla die shapes here and I'm going to put on dear friend on one of them and for you on the other 
I'm going to use Coastal Cabana. Does that one say? I'm actually, what that says? No, I think it says you're a blessing, that one actually. I'm going to stamp that in the middle. Yep, you're a blessing. And where's the other one gone? And then I'll have Dear Friend. right in front of us there. Never mind. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Dear Friend on the front. I think I'll use some dimensionals for that. That. And then we'll have your a blessing. Sorry about that everyone, the battery ran out. So yeah, where did we get to? Um oh yeah, I stuck your a blessing on there. Love I cut out and I stuck that on there. And then the tag I made at the back, I made another one of these little tassels from the same DSP. And I just tied that onto the back, uh, tied it onto the tag with um, some of the pool party twine. And there we go. I think it is just so cute. Makes a lovely little gift. Don't forget we've got our little tag in there. And you can decorate them however you like. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll be back again on... Wednesday with another tutorial. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.